about a barn style wedding. A new bill about liquor licenses in Wisconsin may set a new limit for those popular venues. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly joins us now. Cameron, this affects couples with weddings booked all the way through 2025. They may have to start looking for a backup. Michelle, that's right. Not only will this impact couples, but also the income of many local farmers. These private venues would also be required to have liquor licenses. Why outlaw distilled spirits? That makes no sense. We're going to outlaw Wisconsin's old fashioned. 156 pages. It's a huge bill, so it's a lot to digest. Local farmers raise concerns about a bill that could change the future of their business. A bill that states guests can drink wine and beer at these farms no more than six days a year and one day per month. We don't buy liquor. We don't sell liquor. Owner of Bridal Barns and Gardens, Pamela Pennington, says her family farm has operated for years without selling or purchasing alcohol. Just like a park shelter, just like a campground. Why can't you rent a place and have your family and friends come for a lovely gathering and supply your own beverages and food? Pennington points to the economic power of local venues throughout the state. We have a huge impact on the local community. Not only does our staff that work our events come from the local community, but we alone are responsible for millions of dollars in hotel revenue. The caps put on the venues would trickle down to florists like Phil Molina and his wife. Trying to force venues to get a liquor license, of which there basically aren't many in most towns the quotas are already used up it was only in june that the florists got their permit to hold events but on that same day they were shocked by the news of ab 304. we were down at the capitol testifying for the assembly bill shocked and stunned so it was not a celebratory occasion that night farmer gene bond says legislators failed to mention the major cut in revenue for businesses and the heartbreak for their customers and if how what am I to tell them? I just I I lose sleep myself just thinking about next June. I have four weddings that month. Bond serves as the Wisconsin Agricultural Tourism Association's advocacy chairman and says her goal is to speak up about what is at stake. I don't think any of them that authored this has a good knowledge of how we operate and obviously don't care to find out. These farmers urge Wisconsinites to reach out to the state senators. The next time this bill will be presented to the Senate is in September. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15 News.